Good evening, everybody. Thanks for tuning in for pro tip number three in this brand new series, How to Not Be Murdered. How this hasn't ended up on primetime television yet is beyond me. CBS, I'll be waiting for your call. Who am I kidding? I'm not picky. ABC, NBC, you can bid on this too. I'm serious, please do. For those of you who keep a close eye on my wardrobe, yesterday I was intim Im intimidating. <laughs> I wish I was intimidating a picnic table. Imitating a picnic table. Today, I'm imitating Australian coral reef, the Great Barrier Reef. Okie dokie, moving on like a turtle without legs. Pro tip number three, here we go. All sharp objects must go. We're talking scissors, safety pins, bobby pins. Good luck getting those away from the wife. Lawn mowers, pruning shears, sickles, all manner of shovels and spades, knives, duh. The large butcher ones especially, but even butter knives are iffy, my friends, with enough force Sorry to say it, but forks have to go too. They have a very bad reputation. Start cutting your steak with a spoon, my friends, because that's all you're gonna have in your house. If the meat is tender enough, shouldn't be a problem. Oh, and if you happen to be as sharp looking as I am today, you'll have to get rid of yourself as well. I think that might be my favorite one so far. Just kidding, that was pretty pitiful. The fact of the matter is, if there are sharp objects in your home, the temptation will be too great for any criminal. But if the only options in the house are blunt objects, number one, your chances are higher of survival, and number two, it's more work for him or her. We're not sexist when it comes to murder. There is a risk that they'll bring their own weapons. In which case, I strongly advise you have a little sign out on your front porch that says, please leave all sharp objects outside. Murderers, as barbaric as they may be, do know how to read signs. Quick note, if you have daughters who have Barbies, those need to go too. I'm sorry, their hands and feet are like little razor blades. If your daughter's fine with a little headless torso, great. But the limbs must go. Oh. This list is getting long. I can't give you a comprehensive list. I gave you some of my first initial thoughts, but you're the only one who knows what's truly sharp in your home. I wish you all the very best. Thank you all for your great support on this series. I think we're having a great time. From what I can tell, 98% of you are enjoying this, which in my book is a B plus. If you laughed, chortled, snortled, please share. You all are the best PR agents a man could ever ask for. Shout out again to Magellan TV for inspiring this series. They paved the way for me to really learn how to survive. And now, Oh, you can too. I refuse to take any more of your time. Stay tuned for pro tip number four, how not to be murdered.